Hello and welcome to this video on the three R's of research. This is a colloquial term for a process of minimizing the animals used in research projects. The three R's are respectively reduce, refine and replace. Reducing the number of animals, refining the experiment to make it more sound and reliable, and replacing the animal model where appropriate and possible. This is not a perfect system, but it is important in biological research, drug development, and oncology. The three R's apply to all animal research. This is not just a practicality of limited finances, but an ethical responsibility that needs to be demonstrated to an institutional review board before approval will be given. In order to pass this assessment, you will need to demonstrate how you adhered to and implemented these goals. First is perhaps the most obvious, replacing. Finding an alternative to animals or alternative ways to use animal material that does not require an increase to the number of animals already in use or in other projects. This approach can include tissue or cell culture, organs on a chip, and computer modeling. These are full replacements for animals, and there is no way for any pain to be experienced. This is the ideal replacement option. There is also a partial replacement option. This is species considered to be unable to experience suffering. This is often a case of limited neurological structures, cognitive ability, and underdeveloped organisms. A common and regular example of this is Drosophila, otherwise known as fruit flies. In some cases, primary cells, or cells directly sampled from an organism, are used. This is invasive, but causes no long-lasting harm. These cells are unlike immortalized cells, which can be continually propagated for purposes of post-research. There are databases of alternatives for your animal research. They are linked below. Other approaches could be to use methods which do not require the animal's death. But even this is not ideal and fits into other categories more appropriately. Where this first step is impossible or does not achieve satisfactory results, you move on to reducing the number of animals. Reduction is an interesting concept as it plays back into the replacement concept. The idea is to collect the most data from the smallest number of animals possible. This requires the choice of the most appropriate model and the best choice of research design. Good examples of this are imaging studies, where you do not need to engage in a cull at any point. Another is the microsampling of blood, which does not kill the animal, and again, allows the same animal to be followed for a longer time period and allow the drawing of more significant results. Sometimes it is simply not possible to replace or reduce the animals used in research, and for this reason the last R exists, refine. Refinement is very much like the approach to modern medicine. The idea is to reduce the pain, suffering and long-term harm whilst providing the best possible conditions and welfare for the animal. Examples of this are best typified by animal enclosures at a zoo. You will see there are toys, opportunities to socialize and exhibit behaviors that keep the animals mentally and physically healthy. In the same time frame, the animals are kept for study and maintenance of the species. The goal of refinement also extends to the way animals are treated in experiments. The altruistic aspect demands analgesics and anesthetics during any procedure. Animals should also be trained and or conditioned to be cooperative during procedures to minimize the stress they undergo. These are the three hours of research. It is a set of principles and guides that need to be followed if you are requesting any animal-based research approvals from an ethics committee. 
They will also improve the experience of both the researcher and the animal, ultimately providing a better outcome for all involved. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found it useful, consider liking, sharing and subscribing. Please post any comments, questions or suggestions below.